Does this kind of feel like Christmas Eve a little bit in the sense that now you're going to go out tomorrow, sit down with the guys and, and, and get them out on the practice field for fall camp? that really, really matters because the game is a month away. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Talking season, as Coach Spurrier used to say, is over, and, and uh, we're super excited. We've, uh, we've gotten a lot accomplished since I got hired in December, and the guys came back in January. Summer's been fantastic, but this is what we all love to do. So yeah, it feels like Christmas morning. Can't wait to get out there on the practice field. We, we have a lot of work to get done between now and September 4th, but couldn't be more fired up about getting out there tomorrow morning. As a young boy, you went through in your mind as your dad's coaching and various different things for this moment to be on the sideline as the head coach. How exciting is it to finally get that opportunity and how much do you think doing those things when you were younger, looking at the media guys, being around great coaches, being around your dad has prepared you to make the most of this opportunity? Yeah, uh, I feel as prepared as I can be for sure and, and that's the experiences that I had growing up, you know, I can remember being 10 years old and his first practice at Virginia Tech and hopping on my bike and riding the bike trail to practice and, and being out there. And, and then the, the roles that I've had since I've got into coaching. Um, certainly, I've been a part of a lot of first days of practice and there's always extra excitement, but more so this year than ever because of the role that I'm in. And there's certainly a lot of excitement, there's a lot of unknown, but at the end of the day, there's a task that has to get done and trying to do a great job of staying focused on that and maximizing each day and, and, and getting our team better each day. We were just talking with Luke Doty a moment ago and he was talking about you named him the starter coming out of spring, but he's got to prove it and he knows that. Where is Luke Doty as a quarterback, as a leader of a football team, where is Luke on those two fronts? I think as high as he could possibly be. I mean, he's a fantastic young man. He's extremely intelligent, and he's a talented quarterback, and I'm excited for people to see that. And uh, he was in a tough situation last year where he really didn't com wasn't able to commit solely to being a quarterback. That's what he's been able to do since January when our guys came back to start off-season workouts. And he's really working on everything from a fundamental standpoint. The players on this team respect him. He's, uh, for all those reasons I just named, and he's a talented guy, but he's an extremely hard worker. And the guys on this team see how hard he works, the effort that he puts into it. And, and I'm excited to watch him uh, uh, play quarterback and, and compete each and every day of practice. We're in the upstate. We have a guy that was one of the best we've seen in the last several years, Zach Pickens, as a star at T.O. Hanna. His first couple years here, there was a, maybe a little bit of a learning curve. Maybe he didn't reach the expectations that some had. Coming into his junior year, where do you see Zach Pickens fitting in on this defensive line? And do you feel like he's ready to break through what he's done over the last couple yeah, years? Yeah, I do. Um, I was well aware of Zach. I, I was kidding him. We tried to recruit him when I was at Georgia. We weren't very successful. We tried to recruit him when I was at Oklahoma. We weren't very successful. Uh, what a fantastic person. I've gotten to know his mom. What a fantastic lady she is. And and he's everything that's right about this program and about college football and he's super talented and I don't know if he realizes how talented he is and, and we've talked about it as a staff with that defensive line group as a whole that I've said it publicly that I feel like that's the strength of our football team and Zach's a big part of that but having said that there's high expectations for them because of that and they need to take another step and break through that entire D-line group and confident with the way that they've worked and, and what they've done in the offseason that they're ready to do that. What do you want to see on day one when they get out on the field tomorrow and run around. You've put a lot of time into preparing and making sure the guys are ready. You said you started in May, breaking it all down. What do you want to see on day one? Well, a couple things. One, just the retention of everything that we're doing mentally. Uh, you know, being able to retain what we did in spring practice and what we're asking our guys to do schematically, offense, defense, special teams, to the effort that we're always going to play with. We're not in pads. There's only so much you can tell when you're not in pads. but. You can play with great effort, breaking on the ball when it's thrown, finishing plays, things like that as well. And then I'm just eager to see a lot of these new faces. And, and it seems like most years, most of your players have enrolled in January and they go through spring practice. And that's not the case with us right now. We've got a lot of faces that weren't here during spring practice that we're seeing tomorrow for the very first time. And I'm excited to, uh, excited to watch those guys get out there and compete and, and can't wait. Shane, thank you very much. Yep, thank you.